Alright guys, I'm getting ready to prune my indoor citrus plants. What you need to do first is clean your pruning shears with some rubbing alcohol. It's just a paper towel, some rubbing alcohol. What that does is prevent you from transferring diseases between trees, between species, and it's a good practice uh, to have what the alcohol does too, which is a nice added bonus is it takes off the sap uh, from any of the other trees that you've pruned. Uh, keeps your, your pruning shears nice and clean. Alright everyone, looking at our indoor citrus here again and it's time to prune and I really need to get off some of this uh, this dead stuff that uh, happened in the last um, freeze that we had outside that I, I wasn't able to get the plants indoor quick enough. Uh, this is just needs a little bit of, of trimming, but as you can see as well, down here at the base, we've got some some dead uh, branches, but we also have some suckers that are starting, so you want to get those off. You really don't want to trim citrus too much. They're a full canopy plant or, or tree, and they uh, the bark will sunburn really easily. So um, you want to leave a full canopy of uh, as much, you know, branches and leaves around the outside, but you can trim and, and cut off the suckers on the interior and, uh, and get that out of the way. As you can see, I'm going to have an issue coming up here pretty soon. It's going to be very difficult. I've got three mandarin oranges in close proximity to one another. I didn't know what the attrition rate was going to be when I planted them and they all came up. So uh, then I then I left them and now they're they're going to be intertwined together. So I have to make a decision. Obviously the big one is the best and we'll, we'll figure out uh, which ones to try and transplant. I don't want to shock the roots. These things are very sensitive. So as I was saying, you really do not need to prune citrus. It's a full canopy um, tree, and this is my helper down here. She's doing a great job. And basically, um, the only reasons you prune citrus is, are to get the suckers or the dead branches out and to shape it per your needs. It's, a, it's based on whether or not um, it functions in the area you need it to function in. As you can see this this tall piece here is, is kind of shooting up pretty far and we want to keep these short uh, so that they fit inside of our home and eventually fit inside of our greenhouse. So we're going to trim that off and that'll provide um, you know nutrients back to the other part of the plant but like I said before these are full canopy and they need to protect that interior trunk uh, from sunburn. When they're young like this, it's not they're not as affected. When they're older, it, uh, it happens a little bit more. So you can see that trunk is getting hit by sunlight. But this, uh, this mandarin orange is only about three years old. Two and a half, three years old. I cannot remember exactly when we planted it. So I'll be pruning this in. Just making a few adjustments to it. You don't need to do much.
this is a little update on how our citrus are doing uh, after the treatment for the mealybugs. And it looks like, from what I see, they're all gone. It's even, I'm focusing here on an area that has some new growth. Actually, there's some new growth up here. Dad. And some new growth right here. Excellent. And down here, there's a lot of new growth. Right where uh, it gets the most sunlight. I've noticed an interesting phenomenon. As we come down here, hopefully I can zoom in on this. The neem oil that we were spraying, the neem oil dish soap and water combination, that I told you is great for uh, as an insecticide, uh, has killed a lot of gnats. So many so, that I'm having to clean up the windowsill because they were just dying in hordes. They were so annoyed and so taken aback by uh, the neem oil combination that uh, that's proof that it really works guys and the plant is looking great thanks for watching our video everyone we hope you enjoyed it we'd love for you to subscribe please click the button on the left hand side of the screen also please give us a thumbs up it really helps out our channel if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below also if you're interested click on the video on the right hand side of your screen for more at the country living experience